She likes fancy resorts, empty beaches, and sunset dinners. I like the jungle, thunderstorms, and searching for creepy animals. But we both love snorkeling. Here's our weekend getaway to Cozumel. In 2004, after spending $40 on snorkel boat tours, a local told me that a place called Playa Corona was much better. You could snorkel right from the shore and it was free. Turned out it wasn't a scam. And I couldn't wait to show my wife the vibrant corals and abundant fish species I'd seen here back then. But when we paddled out, we only saw one fish. I figured I got turned around, so we paddled back in and right down the road found Playa Corona, best snorkeling from the shore. This time we had to pay $5 each and were happy to do so, but when we paddled out, we only saw one fish. My wife gave me that look like wives do when their husbands screw up. <laughs> but this wasn't my fault, it was Wilma's. In 2005, Hurricane Wilma sat on Cozumel for over a day. In this incredible photo, you can see the island through her eye. I'm not sure if the wave action crushed the reef to a pulp or if Wilma just buried it with sand. Probably both. The deeper reefs away from the shore are still intact and thriving well, so I assume we would have to do the tourist boat thing if we wanted to see any sea creatures. For three nights, we stayed at El Presidente Cozumel Resort and Spa, right on the crystal clear turquoise waters. Palapas, bungalows, pool service, lounging, and plenty of luxury. Ocean sunset dinners were spectacular, and the food was so fresh, it was practically crawling off your plate. Put them in your ceviche. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, we decided to try out the snorkeling right from our hotel beach, but when we paddled out, it was magical. two days we spent all our time exploring coral outcroppings, the sunken barge thingy, and the occasional male German swimwear fashions. The best snorkeling from the shore we found in Cozumel was right here at the El Presidente. You could rent your gear here and the staff was extremely friendly. This guy, not so much. On our last evening we finally went for a night drive to see if we could find any creepy animals. Another nighthawk right up here. It's gonna jump up. Oh, hey, hey. Last night we went out and we caught some awesome animals, but my wife doesn't feel the same way about them as I do. She thinks they're creepy. So we're gonna have her rate the animals, which one she thinks is the creepiest from one to four, one being the creepiest. That's the creepiest. You sure? Okay, what's the second creepiest? Definitely that guy. Okay. That's the creepiest. Okay. And that one is not that creepy. Okay. So this is Nat's top four creepiest animals in Cozumel countdown. Number four, boa constrictor. Caught this guy last night across the road. The boa constrictors here are more brown and uniform. There's some pinkish color in there. And this one is a male. I saw that he had a bigger tail, and he also has little claws or spurs. They're remnants of legs, and they use them in breeding. See right there? They'll take him and they'll scratch the female like this. We're gonna take you and let you go, but now we're moving on to creepiest animal in Cozumel. Number 
three, rainforest cat-eyed snake. And you've got a tick on your head, Ooh. and that's gonna come off. I know this guy is really spastic. Yeah. That's why I'm scared. This snake is mildly venomous, and if you do get bit by it, they say it's supposed to be like a bee sting, but they have rear fangs in the back of their mouth that they subdue frogs and lizards mostly with, and anything else smaller than them. He looks like he's in the shed a little bit. He's a little opaque, but I caught one of these the last time I was here that was bright red. It was really beautiful, but that tick mm -hmm. has got to go. So now we're got it. top five creepiest animals. I like number four. Well, I do too. It's time for number two, the second creepiest animal in Cozumel, the bark scorpion. And if they call him the bark scorpion, because you can hear him barking. Listen. I'm just kidding. They're called the bark scorpion because they hide under bark in the trees. I was dumb. You're gonna handle that? Yes. I don't know what's gonna happen. Now if he spazzes out, oof, he does no, not like no. me. This is Centroids gracilis, and it's related to the little orange scorpions that we have all over Texas. And those suckers burn like fire. And also it's related to Centroids sculpturatus, which is America's only deadly scorpion. This one is 20 times the size of America's bark scorpion. I don't know how poisonous this scorpion is. Don't fall. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <coughs> Just chill, 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 chill. Chill, 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 chill. Yeah, there we go. Don't go in my shirt. Then I will get stung. really mellow out in time. Yeah, it starts to look. It's going to be awesome. Do not. No, 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 no. I'm going to get hit if I keep doing this. All right, enough of that. You're going. <laughs> You're going back in the container. All right, well, that's the second creepiest animal in Cozumel. Now, Let's do the creepiest animal in Cozumel. Ready for this? This guy might spaz out. It's not gonna fly, right? The giant false death head cockroach. Look at that, daddy. See that black spot on his head? This one only has two. Oh! Behind your foot. He's on my leg. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. <laughs> Thanks for watching, friends. Till next time, happy trails.